All right, so today we're going to be looking at getting live cryptocurrency market data into Python with the request module. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have an example. So if I do this, we can see that you get a nice little printout. The price of Bitcoin is, you know, X pounds. So how do we go about doing that for ourselves? The first thing you're going to want to do is to go to CoinGecko API. And we're using CoinGecko because it's free and there are no signups or anything. Uh, you can use CoinMarketCap or any other service if you want. I'll provide video tutorials on them at some point in the future. But for now, we're just going to use this. And so you want to go to the simple slash price over here and click try it out. So then type in here the name of the cryptocurrency that you want. So I'm just going to type in Bitcoin. And then over here, the currency that you would like that denominated in. So I'm just going to pay Great British Pounds. And then you click Execute here. We'll get a curl command, which you can just execute on your command line. So I could put that in here. And I'll get immediately a response back saying that the price of Bitcoin is this. But obviously, this is a Python tutorial. And so let's look at how you get that. And so we're going to want to use this request URL here. So let's copy that and then open, then create our Python file. So there we go. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is import the requests module. If you don't have that installed, that will cause an error. So if you go back to your command line and type pip3 install requests, that will check that you've got it installed. It might just be pip install depending on you know, how your installation set up. And then, so as you can see, mine's installed. So then we'll go back to the tutorial.py. Let's import JSON. I believe that's in the standard library. So you don't need to pip install that. Then just create a variable. So I'm gonna call mine Bob equals requests.get. Okay, and the first argument to this is going to be that URL that you just copied. So put that in there. And then we also need to provide it with some headers. So that just gives it some sort of miscellaneous information. In this case, it's going to tell us that we want to receive the response as a JSON rather than an XML file. And so provide that in the form of a Python dictionary. So if we go up here, and we copy this bit after the capital H, so capital H for headers there in the curl command. We copy that and we put that between our curly brackets. And then you want to make sure both the key and the value are strings. So if we do that, that should work for our request. And then to get some sort of printout from that, we'll do a print bob.json. So the dot JSON there on the end is parsing it, and so that'll print it out as a JSON file. So let's test that. Um, and as you can see, we get a printout here, the same one as the curl command. And you might notice it looks very similar to a Python dictionary, and you'd be right in making that connection, because what we can do is we can just slice right into it using uh, the keys. So the first one was Bitcoin, and then the second one was GBP. And so if we use that, now just get the price. And then, of course, you can add any message that you like on the front of this print command. So the price of Bitcoin is currently, and then convert the rest of this to a string. And there you go. Obviously, I've forgotten a space there. There we go. Good as new. And so if we go back to the CoinGecko API, you can see that we can have this for multiple coins. So if I type Ethereum in here, and I could also have multiple currencies, so I can have USD. And so if we execute that, and we go here, 
you'll see that you'll just get a slightly more complicated response. And you can, you can index into that just as we did with the other one. And so there you go. Hope you found this useful in, and that you can use it in your Python projects. See you next time.